Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. A very short update today. I'm on a trip and now in the hotel, so sorry for the background noise. Some music is playing around and, and some elevator and everything. Um, so hope it will not be that much disturbing. So, um, what, what, what do we see in the market? First, uh, I am looking majorly at the total capitalization of the altcoins and now it broke the very important level of uh, 60, almost 61 billion dollars and uh, seems to be holding above that, don't have much of the uh, pullback. So I will closely look at this point, at, at this uh, parameter, because I think it's the very important uh, indicator of showing how the market will go. Of course, the dominance is declining, and this is the reason of the capitalization of altcoins is growing. But at the same time, total capitalization is still increasing. So both Bitcoin and altcoins are growing, and now it's actually approaching another strong level of 132 capitalization um, uh, 132 billions dollars billion dollars capitalization and um, still uh, both altcoins and bitcoin are growing and bitcoin is now uh, broke the um, triangle which we looked at it's now above uh, the this channel trading channel which where we were for a while of course you see there was a an, one break another break this one and this one is fourth and they are getting lower and lower and I mean the amplitude of these oscillations is getting smaller and smaller and probably we may have another leg down just to return to this uh, triangle we may actually make it a bit extended and return to the same channel if it will happen then I would expect a little bit uh, pullback like to this maybe 300 uh, 3730 50 or something like that maybe just 370 said 3700 sorry and then uh, that will be even well again some uh, uncertainty with the, with the price will uh, remain but so far I would I would continue to stand on my expectation of getting higher like maybe 66 percent I would give to going up and 33 percent going down not a financial advice as usual guys you know that I, it's my just my personal opinion but uh, we'll see how it will react with previous lows both uh, altcoins and Bitcoin if it will stay about the low previous lows then it would still be rather bullish if not well then we may see a new low there's, there's no wonder with that but so far again it seems to be pretty much um, positive again can, let's see if it will hold above this triangle this channel and whether it will uh, try to test this previous highs and if it will go above this highs then we'll have a new channel rising channel and then the new targets like 4000 4100 and everything will we will see how the price will react with those uh, tether again is higher than one dollar still so quite quite positive with that at that point and uh, a lot of the altcoins are uh, on the in the green zone ether before the hard fork is now above this uh, important level actually if you look the um, daily chart you will see that this level was actually rather important even before that something like 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 this so even here and and here of course and now we are approaching another uh, sort of a trading action, uh, high high trading, high volume trading action. Before, uh, I wouldn't consider it that strong, but still, if we'll break it, that would be something um, something significant. I would closely look at this price, something like 0 0.042, uh, where there is um, 200 days moving average. So I would expect a small pullback from that, or if yeah, there is a bull, there will, will be a small pullback, or there will be a break of this and then um, break uh, up, up to the upside and then uh, the ether price will uh, rise probably dramatically uh, especially because of this hard fork news and people are excited and a lot of the volume and everything so maybe like I don't know 50 percent 30 percent okay 50 is maybe too much but 30 percent from now I it's it wouldn't be that that crazy in my opinion so that is general sentiment nothing really new uh, in terms of the, some 
development or news in the market. I would like to just uh, mention one altcoin which I um, consider to be very reasonable. This it, it's called Celsius, and this altcoin is not um, traded on any of the exchange except those two, IDEX and SwitchO. And the thing is that they didn't, uh, they weren't listed yet. The, the ICO was uh, maybe spring or, or, or early summer, I think, maybe spring. The thing is that they didn't want to list uh, if they don't have some certain requirements, some certain uh, their requirements to be fulfilled. And they're pretty strict about that. They don't want their coins to be dumped. Uh, so probably they will wait for a while when the price of Bitcoin will be higher and the, the market will be bullish in general. So, but anyway, I, it seems like some people are still trading trading Celsius on IDEX and you can get some of them, although volume is very low, but still you can accumulate a little. And the thing is now the price is really, really low comparing to the ICO, but as th that may happen with this, with many altcoins, but the, with, with Celsius, I, I closely looked at the team uh, and what basically it's lending platform that's really, really reasonable, um, um, like uh, not a politics but management of this of this lending for them, uh, which which they provide. And so Alex Mashinsky is behind Celsius, and he basically uh, made a lot of success in different business before. And I wouldn't be absolutely wouldn't be surprised for me when, if and when Celsius will uh, get a huge success in crypto. Uh, so when they will list in some of the exchange, I would expect them to go maybe if not 10x like from the current price, but like two, three X absolutely for sure. So it's up to you. It's not financial advice from me. So it's up to you to what to, to think about it. But just look at the uh, background, look at the fundamentals and see what you think. Maybe it will be interesting for you. So that is pretty much it for today. I don't want to make it uh, longer because of the quality of the video. I can provide better. But so far, um, again, let's uh, let's continue to look at the current status at the key levels. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm still holding. I'm not selling. I expect that if it will go much lower, like to the new low, then I will buy more. But so far, I don't want to. Calc, like take profits at these levels I would expect the price will go higher and yeah huddle <laughs> as you say okay guys thank you very much for watching sorry for the quality of the video today again and see you tomorrow in the next update goodbye